Welcome to Focus Positives, where we cultivate our happiness, health, and hope through daily actions. In today's video, I'll show you how you can cut your own hair with no experience during COVID. I'll show you how to use the Floby hair cutting system to cut your own hair from a long undercut or short bob cut to a longer bob cut. If you're interested in extra long layers or extra short haircuts, I have two videos for you. Be sure to check those out. You'll need a comb, an extra wide microfiber headband, a hair tie, a vacuum hair cutting system like the Floby. Prepare the spacers in varying lengths depending on how long you want your haircut to be. I'll be using the shortest half inch spacer for the bottom of my haircut. Because there are gaps between spacers, I tape them together to ensure there's a good suction. You'll need a vacuum and some earplugs because it's going to be real loud. I grew out my pixie cut for this tutorial. First part your hair like the diagram shows and tie it all up. If you don't have the Floby hair cutting system and you want to try this haircut, I recommend you use some clippers for evenness and ease of cutting. As you can see, I tried to hack it with some scissors and it was not easy. One of the worst things of getting a haircut is having all these little hairs stuck on your face and it will not come off. It will be all over you and sometimes even poking into my eyes going into my ears, into my nose, on my clothes. It's just stuck everywhere and it will not come off. I just hate it. See, I can't even rub it off. It's so annoying. I don't like this part. The best perk of having a vacuum hair cutting system is not having to deal with any of this mess after you finish your haircut. I love the fact that I don't have to clean up this mess. Hit the subscribe button for more videos from me. From here on, it's pretty easy. You'll just take the shortest spacer and attach it to the machine and oil the blade and then you can start cutting your hair. Turn on the vacuum, turn on the blade and you can just run the hair cutter all over the bottom of your hair. For a long undercut, you can take a spacer in the length that you want your hair to be on top and just run it all over the top section of your head. To achieve a super short bob easily, you can use a baseball cap like this one and put it on your head and use the back as your guide. You can also use a wide stretchy headband like this one as well. You want to put it on, put your cap on, and make sure that the back is straight and parallel like this. And then you can, don't do it like this, it's kind of curved, it's a no-no, your edge won't be straight. So be sure to put it on and make sure it's straight before you use your Floby. Since I'm doing a long bob, I won't be demonstrating this haircut.
I usually like to use a extra wide microfiber uh, headband for this haircut. It holds my hair very well. My hair is very slippery. I can adjust it to shorter length, uh, uh, higher up on my ears or lower below my ears for a longer length. This is how I corrected my undercut to a bob cut like this one. Once the back is straightened, you can just keep on growing the top part of your hair into a longer bob. I am actually trying to freestyle it for the first time to cut a straight bob since my hair is so long. I can see it in the mirror. I am going side to side so I can actually uh, see where the hair is extra long and going extra slow to cut just a tiny tiny bit at a time. So I'm going to show you at the actual speed how I cut my hair and um, this is really really slow and tedious but the result is very very straight as you can see I'm looking to see where there's a curve or an extra piece of hair coming out you can see when I shift from side to side or move my head to the back I can see where the extra long hair is and I try to keep my blade as perpendicular as possible to my hair so I'm able to keep the straightness in the hair. Another thing is I try to work from side to side often. That helps me keep in check what's happening way in the back where I cannot see or reach uh, very well. Because my hair is longer, it is able to dip to the front and I can see where there's extra hair or the trouble spots where there's a little like notch or bump of extra hair then I can tap slightly ever so slightly to get rid of that, that tiny bit of hair. As you can see I'm taking my time to make sure that little point is straightened out and also I shake my head a lot to see to kind of resemble the natural behavior of how you would move your head sometimes so the hair would fall into place and it's very important that you have freshly washed hair and how you would style your hair normally so your hair falls naturally when you're cutting um, doing this type of hair cutting yeah so i do go back and forth a lot so that way the hair is evenly checked out as you can see there's a little bit of a spot but I can see now that is longer and I can get rid of it. To grow this into a super long undercut, you just keep on cutting the bottom layer and not cut the top layer.
Let me know if you'll give this a try. The thing about trying something new or cutting your own hair is not being afraid of your own mistakes. You'll learn as you go, and hair does grow back as long as you don't make extreme mistakes. But even if you do, you can cut it short. You can follow the video that I have、um, to give yourself a nice buzz cut.